Well, folks, it's the end of summer, and a weird little perverted, let's acknowledge how much f***ing time has passed where stupid people have been allowed to ruin everything. Part of me is looking forward to wearing sweaters and long pajamas again. But let's be real, even as there's an autumnal chill in the air, it's still going to reach 80 degrees in September, so there's still time to do a summer-style video because I said so. Heck, all this will be applicable next summer as well, because it's basically the same thing as what I was wearing last summer. Get ready for the most sustainable secret in fashion. It only changes every decade or so. The only thing that so last year is all the fucking clothing waste going to the damn dumps, you fucking carbon footprint company motherfucking assholes. So here's a quick recap slash preview of my 2020 summer wardrobe. That's right, portmanteau is in this season. Okay, this first number is your basic Hawaiian style thing. I've got floral print, blue shorts, and floral shirt. This particular wearing of the look was inspired by Palm Springs on Hulu, particularly the part where I wore sunglasses and had the shirt open and showing the belly. That's really in right now. People really like that kind of thing. People really like the movie Palm Springs. I really liked it. It's my number one movie of the year still. Yeah, I mean, I've only seen like 12 new movies. Follow me on Letterboxd, by the way, Swiss Army Pants. Of course, I've got more pairs of shorts, so this shirt also goes well with the khaki for a slightly more formal look. Maybe you wanna go to the office, but you gotta be a little casual. Don't forget to wear a motherfucking mask, though, I swear to fucking God. But then, of course, once the day is done, you can open up the shirt and relax relax and look sexy and hot and it's probably really hot it's really hot when i'm recording this right now anyway this is the ideal look for just being lazy in the heat of the summer next up this shirt with dinosaur skeletons on it it is uh, one of the finer button-down shirts that i own it works perfect for an office environment where you can maintain your cool factor in this video i believe i'm wearing this to work so i'm wearing pants these pants are a blue i'm not sure what they are uh, they're on the floor here, so let me take a look. These are, uh, care for our planet. Wash less, wash cold, line dry, possible denim or... Donate or recycle. Um, these are dockers. And they're a nice blue color, and they're nice, and they, and they fit nice. Another one of the common pants that I wear are these jeans that I have to roll up. Of course, they uh, work really well in general and, but, you know, they're jeans. Hey, I don't got to talk nothing. They're jeans. You know what jeans are. Next up, my third pair of shorts that I was able to uh, have on hand during the pandemic was these red ones. And these red ones are really good because they have a lot of pockets. They're loose. They're uh, breathable. And they go good with this purple shirt from Poppy that I got. Jeez, was that January? I think it was January. I went to a concert and saw Poppy, and I wore a mask because Poppy had masks at her last show that I went to see. Anyway, I'm pairing this with my Medjicarp socks, and I've also got the fabric belt from the blue shorts you saw earlier. They also go with any shorts, uh, not really the khakis, although I've never tried that. Actually, you know what? The main reason that I don't wear the belt with the khakis is because the khakis fit. And up close, you can see the shirt says, I disagree with a nice stitched font. Uh, not only one of my favorite songs of hers, but a big mood. Am I right, folks? This warm, toasty cinnamon bun is a Katie Prescott original. It's another one for when you're feeling a little bit lazy or you just want to wear pink. Pink is an underrated color of shirt, not only in men's fashion, but in fashion in general. This is a hotter pink, so it's uh, quite saturated and it really stands out. It pops and uh, it's exciting to wear. Of course, possible accessories for any of these outfits because any accessory goes with any outfit uh, for, for men is a, a wrist brace for when my wrist hurts. That's the, uh, that's, I'm wearing a Futuro here. And of course, pink shirt goes with a pink mask. I'll be talking about all of my masks in a little bit, but I just wanted to mention this color combination for when you bust out the Crayolas and color me tickled pink. And for more Simpsons references, when you wish everything was coming up you, everything's coming up Millhouse. This one's a threadless uh, large. I can wear mediums and larges, so I always wrestle with, do I want this to be almost a little bit too snug or almost a little bit too long? In this case, I went for a looser, more carefree look, just like the pose on the shirt. Next up, sometimes you just gotta wear them all if you're gonna catch them all, and that's why I have this amazing charcoal Pokemon shirt that I got for Christmas from my sister, I believe, and also this 20th anniversary Pokemon hat that I got back in 2017, 2016, I don't remember. Uh, it's a really nice um, hat with, uh, it's, a, it's a New Era snapback hat, 950. 
not the price, I can tell you that much. You know, I might wear this if I'm going out for a Pokemon Go community day, of course, involving nobody else. I walk around the nearby park and the neighborhood and also spend most of the time at home running an incense. You know what I'm talking about. Completely alone. Next up, this is what I wore for my birthday. I got, first of all, the awesomely colored puzzle piece socks from Soxy. Second of all, I am the nation's top fun haver. That is a shirt from Tiny Fuppets. And of course, sea captain's hat that I got at a Goodwill. Not only is it a sea captain's hat, but it's got fun colors because you know that if I'm going out there, I'm gonna be having as much fun as possible. I am the nation's top fun haver. Even my mask is fun. This has a floral pattern on it. Look at how colorful that is. It pops, it works with everything, every kind of color combination. Nothing will not make it work. Yes, masks are not only important to wear anytime you're going to be interacting with anybody. In this particular case, my mom and my sister and my brother-in-law were dropping off some gifts. Not only are masks important and for your safety and others, they're also hella fashionable. Next up for when it really gets boiling, I do have three select tank tops. One of them, feathers. Another threadless pick. This one I got because I love the color sky blue and I love how it works with the white to make a nice bird theme. Makes things nice, makes you think of a nice cool sky. Really helps on the summer days. When the sun's out, sometimes you gotta get the sun's out, guns out, tank top out. And that's exactly what I did. I bought this as a joke, mainly for like a character that I would play in a movie or sketch or something, but it's become part of the regular rotation just because it is very lightweight, very practical to wear in the heat. And you know, when the suns are out, the guns have to come out. This third tank top, it's my most comfortable tank top. Unfortunately, it is also my most fascist tank top. And that is not my fucking fault. I bought this well before this became a completely fascist country. I mean, it's always been a fascist country. So I wear this happily in quarantine where nobody can see me. Please don't look at me. Please don't think I support fascism. Can I get a fuck fascist in the comments? This next one, again, perfect for hot weather. This is a shirt from India that belonged to my grandfather that he would wear in India, so it is great for hot weather. It's very, very, very light. Also, it's pink, that's a plus. Next up, this one is called Guillotine. It was designed by Nick Pyle, and I call it my billionaire shirt because that's what I think about when I wear it. Can I get a guillotine billionaires in the comments? Next up, another Pokemon shirt. This one is about the bugs. One of my favorite types includes some of my favorite Pokemon very anatomical, and there's even a bug in my room when I recorded this. There's a little ladybug. Don't worry, I let it outside. And I wore this on the Weedle Community Day. Anytime that there's gonna be bug stuff related, I'll probably throw this on. It's a nice green. This is from a handful of shirts that I have from TKO that I've played during different Jackbox parties. This one, I designed the drawing, and I designed the slogan. Someone else assembled these, but this is a David Ho and someone else original. Boy, what a home run. First of all, love the frog, real cute. I really love the expression. I was doing a thing with the background there and you can see little dots of different ink sizes. I had a lot of time to work on this one. And of course, why you do this? Pretty common question. Great to wear on a shirt these days. Speaking of great to wear on a shirt these days, here is a ballish prison. This one was designed courtesy of Teenage Stepdad through Threadless. Uh, it's got a nice, whatever you call the rings around the sleeves and the collar, which I love. It's a nice retro look. Anyway, I can also pair this shirt and many other shirts with this dope ass sleeveless hoodie. Lightweight, fun to wear, looks fucking great with a mask. Real ninja shit. Like, come on. Kids everywhere were dressing as fucking ninjas and Power Rangers as shit when I was a kid. You trying to expect me to believe that people don't want to be looking like ninjas and helping others and being respectful and safe? Like, when has looking like a ninja ever been respectful, courteous, awesome, safe, and heroic? Fucking never, except for whatever actual ninjas have actually done heroic stuff. Like, yo, it's a quantum of solace. But it's solace. Gotta gather as many grains of solace as we can. 
Got to watch Quantum of Solace, available on Netflix. This is another teenage stepdad shirt. Uh, I would have worn this to the State Fair if the State Fair had happened this year. It did not, but I still wore the shirt. And it's a good thing that the State Fair didn't happen. I'm a little bummed, like, in a, you know, like, oh, isn't that 0.000001% of a shame of one of the things we miss out of because of all of this bullshit that could have ended in six weeks if everybody had masked up and we had a fucking goddamn motherfucking president motherfucker. But obviously, it's a good thing that we didn't have it. And it's a good thing that I got this shirt. Look how cool it is. I'm hopefully going to wear it next year. I'm just kidding. I'll wear it in 2022 when we have another state fair. Similarly fun, I do believe I did wear this to the state fair last year, was this obvious plant shirt covered in spiders, man. I love it. It's funny that even though I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man, I don't really have any like actual official Spider-Man shirts. Here's another one. This one is also from TKO. I also designed the drawing and the slogan myself. And uh, in the words of Stan Lee, enough said. Speaking of being fashionable, respectful, and cool, here are the rest of my masks. I've got this nice brown one, one of the first ones. All these masks were made originally by my sister, Shout Out. They've all got elastic bands. They've got form fitting around the chin up to the nose. This one is gray and black. Unfortunately, I'm wearing it inside out and didn't realize it. However, I mean, it can be worn inside out, you know? I mean, I'll, of course, once it's brand new, if you've worn it, do not turn it inside out and continue wearing it. That's not safe. This is how it's supposed to normally look. And how ninja is this? See what I'm talking about? Simple, black fabric, boom, 100%. Cool as fuck. Look at me do these fake ass karate moves. Look how fucking dorky I am. It's awesome. And the magenta band is a very fashionable color to go with the black. Oh, I, uh, I did more kicking and stuff now in the video. I'm gonna cut the floral mask. Love the retro colors of this fabric. Takes me back to that 70s show because I was born in 1992. But that 70s show, you watch that show? I love that show. I, 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 I think Netflix has it. I should watch it again sometime. That would be perfect escapism, I think. Um, man, I'm doing a lot of promo for Netflix. They should really pay me some, some money. Um... Do I say that I'm sponsored and then trick them into giving me money or do I ask for it? Anyway, this mask is a really nice green, interesting pattern. Goes well with a lot of shirts, goes really well with the purple poppy shirt. This one is one of my more favorite masks. It's pink, it's got little polka dots on it or little hearts. Hold up one sec. It's got polka dots and hearts on it. Lovely. Again, pink, great fashion, great on a mask. Underrated color, and of course, look how great it goes with this black dinosaur shirt. I'm killing it, man. I've got the kind of basic colors on the body, but then pop, a lot of color right on the face. And it serves as a thing that says, hey, I'm wearing a fucking mask here. Back the fuck up over me. So there you have it. That's my summer style guide for 2020. Most of the articles of clothing that I wore and the combinations in which designated outfits. Of course, yes, only really like a couple pairs of pants and only three pairs of shorts, but we made it work. We, uh, we stayed nice and cool in the heat. I look forward to the fall fashion when it gets cold enough for fall fashion to be possible. Is this a, like a weird egotistical roundabout way to get people to see the clothing that I'm wearing when I'm alone in my room? That thought didn't occur to me. I thought I was just doing like a fun like thing, like send up a fashion videos, whatever. I don't know. Please vote.